What's up guys? Welcome back to some more Cheat Landers. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the pet system. So this thing follows you around and whenever you get too far from it, it teleports. The teleport can be seen by other players even through like terrain, through buildings, everything. It's basically a beacon for you. <clears throat> And it makes it really easy for players to find you and kill you. So it's dumb in that respect. And then also it makes a crap load of noise. Um, I turned my volume down. I don't know if you can hear other players' pets or anything. Um, I know you can whenever you kill other players and they show up. And then you can kill the pet. But I don't know. Some people say they can hear other people's pets. I don't know. I just turned the volume all the way down because it's freaking annoying. So it's annoying in two aspects. Uh... One, it makes a lot of stupid noise and blinks around. It also blocks you going into doors and stuff. It can actually trap you. Um, so the collision on it sucks. And then also it gives away your position. Uh, on top of that, all of the features are about stupid on them. I mean, the backpack. So I won't even get into how the system works right now. Let's just go over the, the supposed features of this thing. Uh the backpack cool you can store extra stuff in it not cool though it won't escape with you so basically you can only escape still with the amount of stuff that you can carry on your person so what is the point of the backpack then so i can hoard extra stuff so that other players can't get a hold of it and then i can like take it and hide it or like sort through it later and then extract i don't know it's stupid just dumbest design ever. Uh, this one. So, <clears throat> the uh, the healing one. Essentially, it is a bandage. Like, it can heal you. It takes time, and it's just as slow as a bandage. And bandages are dirt cheap, mind you. Um, and that'll go into the, the system aspect here in a second. Uh, and then you have the radar. Oh boy, a free radar. So you can use it. It has a, a, a range limit, which you can level up. And we'll get into that when we talk about the system itself. Uh, and it has a cooldown. So every two minutes, you can basically use a free radar. Neat. So you could save a little bit of money not buying radars to use your pet's radar. Although I'm not sure how you activate it um, in-game. And... Odds are, if you're running a kit that's expensive enough for you to have radars, you're not hurting for money. So getting a free radar once every two minutes is nothing special, really. So that brings us into the system aspect of it. So the pet starts with energy, which means you can only bring him into so many raids before it's exhausted. And then how do they want you to recharge it? Well, it recharges a little bit daily, or you can spend the ever-glorious money, real money, on energy for it. Um, it's actually cheap enough that over a few weeks worth of, uh, grinding up this nonsense, you could afford one. So if you did this, you could afford one. And then if you did the daily once every two days, you could probably buy them from the store. So at least they priced it within a reasonable range, but still that gives you what a hundred energy. So you can keep running with this beacon of death behind you. Uh, it's not great. Um, but then this. This part is what really is just dumb AF. So, <clears throat> like, I just did a little bit of this stuff. And I had, like, 14 of these stupid things. Because I bought some with some of my cash points. I was just like, whatever. What, what are these good for? Well, basically, to upgrade to the next level, you don't just need one. You have to charge this thing all the way up. And it has a chance of failing. So probability of charging. You only get a 70% chance that it actually works and gives you one. And it can fail multiple times and you'll waste these tickets. And these tickets, the only way to get them is a weekly mission. There's one there. You can get two, four. So you can get four of these per week that can fail to charge the pet thing. And it requires multiple charges 
to level up to the next tier, which gives you, yay, one more backpack capacity that you can't take out of raid. Yay, one less energy entrance consumption. And you can grind it up all the way to this, but it's probably going to take you, like in this increased, when I upgraded from like, it, it started at four, and then I think here it went up to five. So that's five tickets. You're only getting four per week, mind you. Uh, and then if you want to upgrade it any further, you have to do what? Pay real money. That's right. What is this game known for? Making you pay real money. So if you want to buy them, where'd they go? They're not here. I lost them. You can pay real money, but it's like, I think it's 60 per. So hold on. Here it is. Yeah. 60, 60 cash points per thing. Now, if they lowered this to like five, I wouldn't really have a problem with it because like every three days you get five from the, the, the three day mission. And every week you get like, you can get 35. So not a big deal, but like to get one ticket, 60, that's, you'd have to do all the daily and weekly stuff for, for what, two weeks to get one ticket that can fail. <laughs> Guys, it can fail. <laughs> I don't want to stress this enough. Like, it failed on me. Like, I had 14 of those tickets, and it was like four here, and then another five here, and then five here. And then it failed like three times. It's so bad. This It started at 90%. So this rank, you got like 90, and then it goes down. It looks like it just decreases. I'm not sure what it was here, if it was the same, but it decreased to 70 here. So then once you manage to grind all this up so you can have a backpack capacity, yay, that you can't take out of raid, oh, then it might unlock this, where you can get free bandages. Woohoo, look at this crap. Look. Oh, yay. It's not even like a med kit where it heals you like almost a full. That would be cool. Limited to a couple times per turn? No. It's absolutely freaking pointless. They, oh my gosh. And then at, at the very tippy top, if you manage to grind through all this with all these charging bullshits for every single mission, like every single one of these level ups, these charging things, weeks and weeks and cash points upon cash points, failure upon failure to get bandages, backpack capacity, and maybe a free radar once every two minutes. It does decrease as you level it up, up here. Like, once a minute, you can get a 50-meter radar. It's like, yeah, I could save some money. It's like, ah, it's not worth it. Just all this time, money, and energy. And then on top of it, this thing blocking you all the time, like getting in your way, teleporting and giving away your position, especially if you're trying to play stealth, um, which is one of the only viable ways to play this game, really. Uh, if you want to not have to run really good kit and have it stolen from you by cheaters. Uh, and, oh my gosh, just, it's, it's a time sink, it's a money sink, the system is stupid, it's fucking dumb, that's my final assessment, there you go, <laughs> it's fucking stupid and a waste of time, and as you can see, I unequipped it, I give up, it's dumb as shit, it ain't worth my time, but that's it guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one, peace.